Hello witches, wizards and those who are yet to receive their Hogwarts school letters, welcome to my Harry Potter kitchen. This is the YouTube series where I'm baking my way through the Harry Potter books, making recipes every time we find an item of food and drink. If you missed last week's recipe where we made some magical Harry Potter fish cakes with kippers, then make sure you check out the link down below in the description to catch up. And if you're new to the kitchen and you want to see some more Harry Potter recipes, make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when they a brand new recipe. After those fish cakes, I'm a little bit thirsty. So let's head back into the chamber and see what's next. Okay, so let's head back into chapter six, Gilderoy Lockhart to see what's next. So in the sentence from last week, we've got toast, eggs and bacon, which we've already made earlier in the series. If you missed those, go and check those out. And then in the next sentence, I can already see our next recipe. Harry and Ron sat down at the Gryffindor table next to Hermione, who had her copy of Voyages with Vampires propped open against a milk jug. This week, we're gonna milk, shake things up. If you'd like to recreate this butterbeer milkshake recipe, then all the ingredients, measurements, and instructions are up on my website, bradleybakes.co.uk. The link is down below in the description. So today, instead of just serving up a jug of milk, I thought we'd create the ultimate butterbeer milkshake. And this is gonna be the best homemade milkshake you've ever had. It's gonna be a lovely, rich milkshake base. We're gonna to top it off with whipped cream and some more magical sweets as well. And my favorite thing about this recipe is we're gonna use different elements we've already made earlier in the series. So we're gonna start off with our butterbeer ice cream that we made during our ice cream sandwiches and also our butterscotch sauce that we used in butterbeer porridge. And they're gonna to come together so if you've got some hiding in your fridge or freezer, take them out, there needs to be no waste and you can have something fresh to try. Here's a quick recap if you've missed any of those steps before. To make the butterbeer ice cream, it starts with our three ingredient ice cream recipe. Whisk your double cream until it forms soft peaks and then add in your condensed milk and vanilla. And we're also flavoring this with our caramel extracts and then continue whisking until it forms stiff peaks. Transfer into your ice cream tub and that needs to go in the freezer for at least four hours. Add in your sugar and 45 milliliters of water, swirling round until the sugar has dissolved. Bring this to the boil until your sugar goes lovely, dark and brown. Turn down the heat and then stir in your butter. Bring that up to the boil until it goes lovely and dark brown and then we're gonna pour in our double cream. Stir that through as it bubbles away and then transfer into a bowl and allow it to cool down completely. So while all your ingredients are prepped and ready and waiting for you, you can move on to preparing the main event. And that is turning these milkshakes into the ultimate butterbeer milkshake. So for this, we're gonna start off by decorating our glasses and I'm using these that you might have seen in our pumpkin juice recipe. That's just to give them an extra bit of wow factor before you serve them up. So we're gonna use some chocolate and some butterscotch for that. Then we're gonna also prepare some of our toppings. And for this bit, you can use any sweets, chocolates, candies that you like. I'm gonna show you a few that I think really work well with butterbeer, but let me know what you prefer. To begin decorating your glasses, you want to get yourself a pan of boiling water and then place a bowl on top. Add in some white chocolate and then melt this gently for a few minutes. Once it's lovely and smooth, you can then take it off the heat and allow it to cool slightly. I'm then gonna dip the rim of each glass in, making sure you get a nice layer and then removing it and turning the glass upside down. You should see some of the chocolate drip down and I like to help this along by adding a little bit more white chocolate all around so you get some nice long drips. I'm then gonna take my thickened butterscotch sauce and then pipe little drizzles of this around the edge as well. Place the glasses to one side and then you can work on preparing any other toppings. For this, I've gone for ones that are nice and golden and complement the color of our butterbeer. I found some gold confetti sprinkles, golden crunch nuggets, our lightning bolt toffees that we made earlier, and some crunchy. If you don't have crunchy wherever you are based, they are a lovely honeycomb based chocolate bar, and this will work perfectly well with the caramel flavors in our butterbeer. 
So that is all of our ingredients prepared, our toppings ready, and our glasses decorated. So now all we need to do is shake up our milkshake. Now you can do this in a blender if you have one at home. I'm gonna use a hand blender, or if you don't have any equipment like that, you can even use a cocktail shaker. Just add your ingredients in, give it a good hard shake until you get a lovely smooth consistency. Then all that's left to do is decorate this and personalize it to your own tastes, and then they're good to go. Add your ice cream, butterscotch sauce and your milk into your blender. If you've got a lid for your device, make sure you put it on top. And if you're using a hand blender, start off slow and then increase the speed. Keep on going until it's lovely and smooth. All that's left to do is pour your milkshakes into your glasses and you want to leave about a centimeter from the top. Shake up your can of whipped cream and then top them off. And then you can personalize each one by sprinkling on your decorations. Serve with some paper straws, because we like saving the wizarding world. And voila, our ultimate butterbeer milkshakes are ready to enjoy. If you've never made a homemade milkshake recipe, they are so, so easy to make, but taste incredible. You won't be able to find anything like it in the shop, so it's definitely worth giving this one a go. Let me know down below in the comments what you think and if you're gonna give this a try. That's all for this week's recipe, but if you want to see some more Harry Potter recipes, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and click on the notification bell, then you'll get an alert every Magic Monday when there is a brand new recipe. I'm off to tuck into these milkshakes, so I'll see you next time. It's got to be crunchy for me. Mm. Oh my God, that tastes like heaven.